This is Steve O, uh, coming to you live uh, with the uh, proper way on maintenance, servicing, fabricating, and installing your air conditioning system. It tests everything microfarad, ohms, continuity, Fahrenheit, Celsius, Hertz for you know 400 or above 400 volt DC, yeah, AC, DC. Yeah, I looked to buy one of those things. They're pretty expensive. Yeah, they're out there. Yeah. Yeah, this one has a magnet, which I needed for a long time. It has spin oh, and then. Oh, that's nice. So you can see what the hell you're doing. Yeah, and it has an inrush current. So I could just connect this to your compressor mm -hmm. and then just let's see how much the current it pushes through. Cool. So the coil's okay. Yeah. And now we gotta check the wires on the electrical. Huh? Yeah. So now I just have to write down a couple things. On this. Contact them. This is what I was talking about here. This is the connect to your flow switch. When I when I uh, tested it, it stops this. So it pulls back the contact. And that's what caused it to flip backwards? Yeah. This is your compressor. This is your fan. You have a, okay, it's on an ESCM, so. All right, this your fan right here. Fan common, your fan cap. Compressor, you have one pull. Uh, capacitor is a 45. Compressor amps. It's not supposed to go over 16.7. So now we're gonna get the reading. It's a compressor right here. It's at 10.1. 10, 10, 10, 13. 10, 14. 14. Yes. It's not supposed to go over 1.9. Okay. Zero point nine six. So we're okay there? Yes. So so far we're okay. And then we test the capacitor. Are you good? Capacitor wire or no, I just the uh, capacitor amp. I've been doing it for so long so I know what it's supposed to be. This is the this comes from the capacitor. Okay, the brown one. Yes. So that's a five microfarad, so it should be zero it should be above zero point five two, it should be above zero point fifty. For a five microfarad, okay? okay? So we're gonna see 0 0.50, so it's 0 0.68, that's good. All right, so far everything looks looking pretty sharp. Yeah. Now for your 45, it should be above 5.88. 5.88 or close to six for your 45. And that is, what is that? That's, that's for your compressor. Oh, the compressor. Yeah. There we go. 6.52 that I saw last, so that's good. So everything's working here. Yeah. So the capacitor is strong. It's good. Yeah. And so anyway, that's cool because you can just set it right on the uh, compressor with that magnet and it just stays there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that gives you, you know, it's, it's handy for the tool. Yeah, it is. That's nice. Yeah, it just hangs on. Capacitor reading is good. Compressor amp that we just got for this motor is good. Compressor itself, 16.7, again 10.14, which is good. Your coil is inspected is okay. Uh, Cadet cabinet is good. So the coil is okay. It's it's a little. Let's uh, say it has some corrosion. It has some corrosion. So it's got some corrosion. I'm gonna just put some corrosion as well. Just some. Just some. You know what I mean? You gotta have, gotta put as much data as possible. And I write this down like temperatures and pressure. I uh, you got your amps, your cap, you got your filter. I write a lot. Drain and your system. So we took care of your drain line. We used O2 and vacuum. Filter, you said it was good. Amps and capacitor, the amps are good and capacitor is good. You put this, it's old school. 